and we're back again. It's still in sunny Winsford, but it's not as sunny as it was. Right, here we've got an 06 plate fusion. Customer complaint is poor cold starting. I'll quickly give it a scan. There's no code stored in the vehicle and all the temperature sensors, the live readings look okay. So I'm just gonna do a quick battery check. Basically, we're just using a two channel scope here and we've got one channel monitoring battery voltage and the other channel we've got connected to a 600 amp amps clamp. I'm just gonna quickly just see what the battery voltage is dropping down to and how much current the starter's drawing. So, if I set the scope running, give it a quick crank. Stop the scope. zoom in snap on various it's really really good for mobile techs because you've got a scan tool and a, a very very competent scope all in one um, so we zoom in here now we'll have a quick look at what we've got right so the green trace is current draw and the yellow trace is battery voltage. If we have a look, so looking at the yellow, charging, I don't know whether you can see that, was 14.15 volts, so the charging system's okay, but the battery voltage dropped down to 6.36 volts. That's on cranking, um, that's really, really not good. Most most cars these days, they don't want to see below 10 volts. Um, and bearing in mind this morning, it was minus two, minus three. This this car, it looks like it's the original battery. I'm gonna, I'll put the uh, Midtronic on it and do a battery test, but that's good enough for me to condemn the battery because at uh, minus two or three, it's gonna be dropping down to even less than that. There's no wonder it'll be um, struggling to start. And then if we look at the current draw, the maximum it drew was 0.468 of a volt and on this on this it is one millivolt per amp so it's pulling the starter motor is pulling 468 amps on cold cranking which is not not unreasonable it's a, a little bit high it's probably starter motor is obviously worn it's 12 years old um, but not enough to condemn the starter motor um, looking at the current it's drawing the battery cables will be all right the ground will be okay because obviously we had a bad connection anywhere like that you wouldn't be getting that sort of current draw so all in all there really um, it looks like it's going to be needing a battery with no codes and and temperature sensors all looking uh, Okay, I would imagine um, that's that's basically all it's going to be. I've had a quick look on Autodata. There's uh, no known fixes or bulletins for cold start issues. So I'll throw the Medtronics on it, um, do a quick battery test, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.